In this video, we are going to talk about those DJI FPV Smart batteries. I'm going to explain to you how they work, their features, and how to get the most performance of them. There are 6S and 2 mAh batteries. They have a charge, discharge, balance, and battery monitoring circuit. This battery has a connector, which is similar to the XT60. It's wider, but with smaller pins. It even has three extra pins for the data lines. They are useful to transmit the data from the battery to the aircraft. What's the difference between those smart batteries and traditional? LiPo batteries, you need to turn them on first before you use them. You just press and release then press and hold again. There's no dedicated charger to monitor voltage and current. Batteries are only charged with a standard switch mode power supply. The charge circuit is built into the battery itself. Voltage, current and cell balancing are handled internally in the battery itself. It's able to discharge itself when it's been fully charged. Three days after being charged fully, it's going to self-discharge until 50% of capacity so there's no need to discharge it it's able to do the cell balancing so there's no need to enter in at all it has low battery and return to home option it has accurate flight time measurement in other words those batteries are very very safe it has built-in battery level meter. Press the button and it will show you the remaining capacity. And if you want to stop the cell discharge, just press it one time each day. So in other words, these batteries are much safer than traditional LiPo batteries. Those DJI FPV smart batteries are three to five times more expensive than traditional LiPo batteries. How should you charge them? Give them at least 30 minutes of rest between two charging cycles. For the voltages to recover on the cells and for the cell temperature, to go down. Keep them connected to your charging hub only when they are being charged. Other than that, when charging time is over, just remove them from the hub. How should you use them? I would not advise you to fly them when they have entered the cell discharge cycle because time measurement would not be accurate. Okay, so before you go out there and fly it, just put them back on charge before you fly them or you can lose your drone. They don't like cold temperatures, so if you fly under 15 Celsius degrees, just Take a bit of time to over before you start flying your quad. And during the first cycles, don't push your quad too hard. How should you store them? Ideally at 50% capacity when you have two lights on the battery level. If you plan to charge them during a long period of time, I would advise you to charge them to 75% and let them self-discharge. Something I didn't know is that when they self-discharge, they tend to get a little bit of heat. So make sure they get some airflow where you store them. 